Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm telling you about Robert the Doll. The story of Robert the Doll dates back to the early 19th when a young boy named Eugene Robert Otto was given a one of a kind handmade doll by a servant that worked for his parents in his home. Eugene, who everyone called Jin, named the doll Robert and quickly became attached to his new friend. The home where Eugene lived now called the artist's house is located at 534-534 Eton Street and was built between 1890 and 1938. It was here that Eugene was given Robert the doll and where a friendship that lasts throughout his life time and beyond was forged while he seemed like an ordinary cloth doll it wasn't long before robert was involved in strange and somewhat terrifying events the first hint that something out of ordinary was happening was one night when jean who was only 10 year old woke to find Robert the doll sitting at the end of his bed and staring at him. Moment later, his mother was awakened by a scream for help and sounds of furniture being overturned in her son's bedroom. Jean cried for help, begging his mother to rescue him. When she finally was able to break the lock, door open she saw poor jean curled up in fear on his bed in his bed room his room is symbols and robert the doll sitting at the foot of the bed robert did it where the only words were the only words jean could get out the same words he could later use so many times throughout his childhood when something strange mysterious or mysteriously or destructive could happen nobody knows for sure why or how this child playing thing could actually work havoc on a child's bedroom or do nothing at all after all it was just a toy right but the weird and inexplicable didn't stop at that occurrence. Jean's parent could often hear their sons upstairs taking to the doll and getting a response back in a totally different voice. They reported seeing the doll speak and witnessing his expression change, giggling and stying of Robert running up the steps or starring out of the st- upstairs window were also reported. Robert continued to live with Jean throughout his lifetime. After Jean's dad died, Robert continued to live with Jean throughout his lifetime and after Jean's parents' death, he moved out moved out into their home with his wife Annie. Jean decided that the doll needed a room for his office own and placed him in the upstairs room that had a window overlooking the street. Annie felt uneasy with Robert in the house and all through he, she couldn't put her finger on, on it. She wanted Jean to lock the doll up in attic where he could do not harm. Jean considered and as one uh, as one could imagine robert the doll was not happy with his new digs soon visitors to the home feared heard footsteps in attic the sound of someone packing back and forth the devilish giggling near hood neighborhood Children reported seeing Robert watching them from the window in the upstairs bedroom and told accounts of the doll actually mocking them as they walked to school. 
When Jean heard this, he immediately went to investigate, knowing that he had locked Robert in the attic and there was no open open the door to bedroom. There was Robert sitting in a in the rocking chair by the window. Jean locked Robert Robert up back back up in the attic several times. Some sometime discovering him again sitting by the window in the same upstairs bedroom. Jean Otto died in 1974 and when a, when a new owner moved into house of Eastern Street, their 10-year-old daughter was delighted to find Robert the doll in attic. But her delighted and soon when she claimed that Robert was alive and that the doll wanted to hurt her.